Hey guys, this is going to be a quick one. Um, sorry for the lack of content recently, but I've been so ridiculously busy. I do actually have a an hour-long episode, a sort of out-on-the-road episode. Um, a little bit like the last one, but not quite as polished, because um, I didn't have Benji with me for an extra camera. Um, I've been struggling with the editing because I hate it so much and I've it's pretty much done. I just got a there's a couple of number plates and stuff I need to um block out. Um anyway, so I, I thought I'd share this little job with you. Um it's actually been a massive job. This bike's had an engine swap. Um but I was just filling it up with coolant. Actually I lie, I'd already filled it up with coolant and uh I uh I'd forgotten to put this little plastic cover in, this sort of piece that goes in before the radiator. Um so I had to pull the, drain the coolant out and pull the rad off again. So I thought I'd show you the cooling, coolant filling uh, process. Because these are bloody airlock central, these bikes. Unless you use the right tool, you'll, um, you'll end up with an overheating bike. So the reason I thought I'd show you is you're going to need one of these. Um, it's a coolant purging tool. Uh, basically the way it works, I'll show you in a second. But you attach it to the filler neck. And you vacuum the fuel the excuse me you vacuum the cooling system um there's like a use an airline and venturi effect sucks all the air out of the cooling system and then it's under massive vacuum and then you suck coolant it back in using that vacuum and it makes sure you don't get any little air pockets um so i'll show you that process happening um it's not really a how to this but if you have got one of these and you're changing the coolant um drain bolt is on the rad is on the bottom edge under there under that little cover um you can undo it with your fingers like a little screw thing um pretty straightforward really i'm not going to go into the, the the you know the finer points of it but i'm just going to show you using this tool and what it does okay so what we do we get this tool it's got like a a rubber noggin on it and as you screw this down sorry I'm one-handed filming as usual um, it expands this rubber to grip in the um, in the filler neck so you screw that in push it in and then screw this down and it tightens up and creates a, an airtight seal and then Excuse the Blair Witchness of this. Then we get a this little doofer, which is a it's got an airline fitting on one side, and then it's got an in and out. There's a piece of pipe as well that we we, we can use. Um, okay, so what we do, we put sorry crap filming. We put this on here like so. Oh, I've got it the wrong way around. It doesn't really matter. Um, pipe should be facing the ground let me just swap it round and I'll come back to you no I won't I'll just do it while you're watching okay so this pipe is only for as you vac it you can get some um, coolant sort of because you're sucking air out sometimes you suck a bit of coolant out too and that just that can just go out the way and blow it onto the floor or something right so then what we do get an airline and we so it's got the same fitting as that vacuum pump and then what we do we connect the airline to this we watch this vacuum gauge The tap here, so that taps open. I'm going to connect this airline up. Once it gets to, um, it wants to be just into the yellow here on the gauge, um, and then we'll knock off the the tap, and it'll hold the vacuum in the um, in the cooling system. At least that's, that's the theory. I'm going to have to. Um, I can't do this airline one-handed. Uh, somebody help me! I can't do it. I'm going to have to put my phone down. Just bear with me. Right, okay, connect the airline. Now it should hold vacuum. It's kind of a good way of seeing whether you've got a leaky cooling system as well. 
because obviously there's a big vacuum in there now. If there was any sort of leak that would leak coolant out, it would definitely leak air in because air is thinner than water. Um, although unless it was a weird sort of leak that needed pressure internally to blow out, but probably unlikely. You normally see a leak when you um, look at a vacuum like this. The other thing that I didn't show you earlier on as well, it doesn't really apply to Jap bikes, but the way the expansion bottle works on these things, um, and this isn't a how-to, so I'm not going to go into loads of detail, but with a Jap bike, the radiator cap has a, you know, has a blow-off valve, and it blows the coolant into a bottle that's at atmospheric pressure, um, and then as the engine cools down, it sucks the water back into the rad. Well, these are a little bit different. They've got this expansion bottle, but this is a pressurised expansion bottle, um, and the blow-off cap, which has got the valve in, if it ever blew off, it would just blow water out onto the ground, if that makes sense. So, what I'm, what I'm driving at, what I'm getting at, is there's a, there's a drain pipe from the top of this filler neck here that goes all the way down, and I've got it clamped off. I don't know whether you can see that, it's a bit silhouette maybe, but there's a, there's a clamp on there. If you didn't clamp that off, what would happen? You wouldn't, wouldn't be able to create a vacuum, and you'd hear... A, come around this side and listen you'd hear a little hissing from that pipe so anyway that's just a little bit of extra info because it's not really a how-to so then what you do you've got a vacuum in your now it has dropped a little bit I'm not too worried about that because it might be a slight leak around here I'm confident that the cooling system isn't leaking and it may even be that clamp on that pipe on the other side so then what you do with this tap off sorry I'm waving the camera around all over the place with that tap off you undo this and then we swap to the other pipe. I must get one of those um, gimbal things for my camera so I'm steady. I'm not going to show you the whole process, but basically what you do then is you plug this doofer into there, like that. And then you get your coolant, so it's going to take a, a few of these. Now ideally you'd fill this pipe with coolant first so you're not sucking air to start with but I'll, I'll just show you the process of how it works and then I'll fight with that afterwards because um, you're losing some of your vacuum by just sucking on by just sucking on air not coolant but you could fill this pipe up first in fact let me fill the pipe up so I'm not wasting my vacuum and then I'll come back to you right so I've got this pipe pretty much full of coolant now I'm just going to show you how this works basically there's a big vacuum in there now as I open this tap The uh, coolant goes down, vacuum goes down, Wah! radiator fills up. Obviously, don't do, 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 for God's sake, man, don't do what I just did. And it's kind of a two man job. Make sure you keep the pipe in the um, coolant so you don't get introduced. You're not introducing air, but you're losing some of your vacuum if you allow air to get into this pipe. So I'm just going to reset now, fill that pipe back up so I don't lose my vacuum or add air, extra air that I don't need into the cooling system and uh, carry on filling it. But basically that's what, what you do. And then when it's full, or when you've lost all your vacuum, um, it won't be completely full and then you just need to top up the last little bit. But what that does then is there's no air pockets in the cooling system at all. It's completely full of coolant. Um... And as I say, these are an absolute pig to uh, to bleed normally. Um, if you fill it the, the traditional way and just fill it through the um, through the filler neck, they do have. Oh God, this is turning into a how-to. They do have a um, a couple of bleed points on these. There's one here on the top, where you can see that, um, and there's one on the water pump here. Little bleed valve. It's worth just cracking that open um, once you've got it full. There can be a little tiny bit of air just stuck in the top of this pipe if you just let that out because the if it's on the side stand like this the filler neck is higher than this point so if you undo this um little bleed valve the water will sort of force its way up you might get a couple of bubbles and then you know and then just water coming out so it's worth cracking that open um anyway that concludes my very short video as i say there's a there's something in the works it's about an hour long i did a trip to london to um go and pick up something and work on a kit car 
and I filmed it all on my own and it's all edited but there's some number plates and stuff I need to blur out because um, I don't think the customer would be particularly happy with me if I uh, if I showed his number plate and stuff so I need to sort that out and then I'll get that posted anyway thanks for watching guys catch you soon bye